right, so here he is, the former UFC middleweight champion, Anderson Silva. The pro record doesn't look like it did a few years ago, DC, but most people still inject the name Anderson Silva into the discussion of the greatest MMA fighters of all time. It's because Anderson is doing us a favor every time he steps foot in the octagon. He could have walked away and protected the record, but the lure, the draw of fighting still is pulling at the spider. And every time he walks in there, we're getting the witness greatness. You feel it when Anderson Silva walks up the steps. I remember staring across the octagon and going, holy cow, that's Anderson Silva. And he has that approach, he has that appeal to everyone that gets in front of him, not only in the octagon, but in life. One of the nicest guys you've ever met is Anderson Silva. And a renewed focus on recovery and physical therapy has allowed the great Anderson Silva to compete deep into his 40s, DC. You ain't going to 45. I'm not There's no going way. 45. I ain't You're not changing. You're going to voice a video game. I'm going to voice a video game. <laughs> what a great idea. Championship. He is the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, a guy you tried to bring in to emulate John Jones back in the day. Absolutely. You knew right away when you watch Israel fight that he has an ability to fight in so many different ways. If he's coming to play a part, he's going to play that part better than anyone else you can find. Yeah. It's because of the adaptability. It's his ability to change the way that he's fighting based on his opponent. In the Derek Brunson fight, he did a lot of knee because he knew Brunson was going to wrestle him. But in the fight against Kelvin Gastelum was a lot of punches and kicks because the wrestling threat was not so great. You gotta have that if you hope to compete and stay atop your division for a long time. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so there are the two consensus greatest UFC middleweight champions of all time, Anderson Silva and Israel Adesanya. And they're on the back here tonight in front of a capacity crowd. It's a dream matchup. When you say, oh, man. Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh, man, is he on wobbly legs. a big right hand, but doesn't find it home. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing him upside his opponent's head over and over again. Double jab there. Oh! Back to his feet. Superman punch now. Well, Silva's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see. He's on top of the now. Big shots landed by him now. Israel Adesanya is trying for a submission here. Arm oh, very tight. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Buffer now has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 25 seconds of the very first round. Including the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Israel. All right, so the clean knockout for Israel Adesanya tonight.